comprehension of many Kenyans. But the response of the deputy president was not there to enable them to make an informed decision by listening to the charges against him and listening to his response. Because the rules of natural justice demand that no man should be condemned and hurt. My lawyers will be vigorously be challenging that uh, public participation as a nullity and that does not meet the threshold of public participation as expounded by the Supreme Court of Kenya during the celebrated case of Governor Peter Wabora. Uh, the motion alleges that two years since assuming office, Rigadi Gashagwa has acquired property and wealth whose estimate value is 5.2 billion, despite his known income by way of employment is 24 million. This is extremely outrageous. Honorable Mutuse goes ahead to give properties that he alleges are owned by one regarding Gashago. I trust he was just given a document to sign. Had he taken some bit of time to do some research, he would not embarrass himself and the National Assembly. James Dorito Gashagua was the governor of Nyeri and died in London on the 24th of February 2017, and he was truly regarded Gashagua was by his bedside. Prior to his death, three or four weeks before, in privacy, he wrote his will and appointed Rigadi Gashagwa to manage his estate. He did put his properties and assets and cash and anything that he owned in this world. And among the things that he did put was the Olive Garden Hotel, the Thing of Beach Resort, the Queen's Gate apart Apartment, and Langata High Rise Flats. It is these four properties that the Honorable Mutuse alleges in the National Assembly that Regadi Gashagwa has acquired them after becoming Deputy President in 2022 when Drito Gashagwa died in 2017. It is the most embarrassing allegation a member of parliament can table before the National Assembly. Those properties were constructed and were in operation when the late Gachagua was alive. I take this opportunity to ask for forgiveness to my late brother, James Derito Gachagua, that today as your younger brother defends himself, he'll defile your privacy by distributing your will that you wrote in privacy. That your properties that you worked so hard for many years to benefit your wives and children are now a subject of discussion and are alleged to be proceeds of corruption. How unfair how cruel can you be to a dead man? A man who worked so hard. A man who gave his life for his family. To buy plots. To construct property. And leave them in his death for his children and his brothers and sisters. And then you go to the floor of the house. And allege. That those properties are production of corruption. My dear brother, rest in peace and forgive me for having joined politics. Because were it not for politics, you would not suffer this shame. Your children are crestfallen as you see their properties 
being splashed in newspapers as proceeds of crime. The Olive Garden Hotel that is alleged to have been bought by Rigadi Gachagua belongs to the estate of the late James Derito Gachagua. And in his will, he directed that we sell all his properties and divide the proceeds among his brothers, sisters, wives, and children. We as the executors of his estate, and I want to pay tribute to lawyer Joroge Regero and Mwai Madenge for their commitment and sacrifice to the Gachagua family, many executors who have been given properties to run by deceased people end up misusing them. 